as he does regularly. Brian Gable walked into his father's restaurant today to help work the lunch crowd. Just back from a trip to Las Vegas, the off-duty District 5 officer was at Mandalay Bay two nights before the massacre. He and his girlfriend overlooked the Vegas Strip from the Mandalay's rooftop club. That's a photo of her. As another busy day passed at the Red Squirrel, the thought hung with him. Over a three-night event, why Sunday instead of Friday? But I was actually there most of the night on Friday night when that, when that event was going on. So luckily for me, timing, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't in the midst of everything. Go that way! This is body cam video from when Sunday shooting started. Gable initially unaware of the enormity of what was taking place. He was just a few blocks from it. We start to see numerous police come in and they all had their military assault rifles out. I'm thinking something's not right. Hey, they're shooting right at us, guys. Everybody stay down, stay down. As these chilling moments occurred, Gable and his girlfriend realized access back to their hotel was blocked. North of the Manly Bay is coming out of a window. With 26 years of policing under his belt, Gable knows when a department's prepared. Before his own police shift today as he prepared lunches, he told us how impressed he was with how police and first responders in Vegas were on it right away, how quickly they mobilized in such a chaotic situation. He knows how harrowingly different it could have been. I'm actually very thankful that I wasn't in the middle of it, that I was just kind of on the perimeter. I was just a couple blocks away. And Officer Gable telling us the next day there was a massive police presence on the uh, strip there in Vegas. Here's how he puts it, puts it tonight. Hats off to first responders in Vegas. He calls them among the best in America. Live District 5, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John.